Hanging in the Uffizi Gallery is one of my favorite paintings I found there by Federico Barocci. Um, it was called Madonna of the People in English or Virgin of the People. Uh, it was created in 1579 during the Italian Renaissance and was very influential to uh, Rubens um, and to, it was a Baroque precursor, so proto-Baroque kind of stuff. Um, Federico was an Italian painter and printmaker. This particular work is oil on a wood panel painting. It is a counter reformation art altarpiece with the, it was from the church, uh, the Providence was the Church of Santa Maria della Pieve in Arezzo, but of course is currently in the Uffizi. Um, some personal observations I made while staring at this for like ever was <clears throat> the little girl in the top left corner and the little spaniel are both staring straight at the viewer of the art while as everyone else in the picture is um, they're 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 preoccupied with their own thing you know even the Madonna up at the top you know beseeching the Lord to to like have mercy and and care about the people down below even though they're all preoccupied with their own lives which is what this picture is about. And I think it's interesting that like the innocent ones in the picture, the, the little puppy and the little girl are looking straight out, like just so self-aware. Um, it, it's really beautiful. Um, I think it's interesting that there's a chain on the little puppy. Like that might've been just how they did things back then, but I feel like it's so, um, I know, like, chaining innocence to the mass of life it seems symbolic to me. But this is a beautiful pre-Baroque art, and I, I sat there. It's, it's huge. Like, it takes up, you know, like, floor to ceiling. And I just stood there, and I sat down and stared at it for so long. And the more I stared, the more beautiful things I found. The, the brush strokes, the color, the composition, the brightness the softness chosen, you know, as it goes higher, like, I guess trying to make it more ethereal, you know, it gets, it gets less, like, vibrant and more fuzzy as you get up into, like, the heaven areas. Um, I, I just loved staring at it. It felt like just, like, this snapshot of life at the time, and it, I feel like it speaks to not just, like, someone beseeching the divine on behalf of people, but like beseeching the people to maybe take a step back from their everyday um, doldrums or, or things that preoccupy us every day, like work, life, you know, the mundane of existence and to stop and remember the beautiful, the innocent, the, the divine, whatever you want to think of that as in life. I, I felt was all in this picture. I'm probably going to have to get a print of it for my house because I love looking at it and I love what it reminds me of. And the artistry is so beautiful. Oh, it's such an overused word, but um, it's very touching. <laughs>